Welcome to the Lee Shopping Centre Senior Hurling Championship Round 1 Clash between Boris Kilcotton and Camrys. This match brought to you today by Manor Stone, Balakala, Country Cuts, Ballinac Hill, Councillor Conor Bergen, Boris Nostry, Rob Jones, Irish Chimney Specialists, Kelly Machine Spares Limited and Boris Nostry, Fran Hogan, Shuttering and Concrete Limited, Camrys. Man of the Match today is brought to you by Holland Sports, the best handcrafted hurls and customised team wear around the leash. And now over to commentators Killian Whelan and Sarah Ann Fitzgerald. And a very good evening to you and welcome to MW Hire O'Moore Park here in Port Leash for Boris and Austria, Kit Cotton and Camros. My name is Killian Whelan and over evening, the evening joining me on commentary is of course a lady that needs very little introduction in Leash GA circles, Sarah Ann Fitzgerald. Sarah Ann, very good evening to you. Thanks Killian. Killian, great to be here this evening. Now Sarah Ann looking at the this ball though being sent in, it's all about getting a touch on this. It's been left behind a little bit. Hammers trying to work it back out. Oh, dangerous ball across the goals. There's still an opportunity here now for Zane to turn on to his left hand side. He looks like he's gone for the flag, the umpire, and that's over the bar. Connor Kilban maybe was thinking about coming for that, but uh, it's been lift. And stepping inside Dan Fitzpatrick in a bit of room is he going to have a shot into the Abbey League's end? Puts that ball over the bar. Bit of a loose clearance from Camros and Boris Kilcotton making him pay. Yeah. In the middle it could easily be a goal but um, it was snuffed out but uh, a loose clearance led to a point for Boris Kilcotton. Well, here come Boris Kilcotton now again. Colm Stapleton of course. Younger brother of uh, Brian. And he fires this in and over the bar from Colm Stapleton. Good score from the younger um, of the two. Burst Cotton maybe slightly with the upper hand who have getting more or more return from the half forward line in midfield. That shot coming in from distance there. Score. That's a great score from Aaron Dunphy. Put that ball over the bar and uh, expertly done there. 55 lucky people were from each club that got in here. Yeah, the hottest ticket in town, this and then whoever owns an apartment across the way. Well, I'm looking at the crowd in the apartment. We might see them in a few minutes. There's about 20 people, I'd say, in the apartment block on the far side. There's this shot coming in from Dan Fitzpatrick it's gone over the bar that's a fine score that's his second point after nine minutes gone here Dan Fitzpatrick with uh, two good scores making it four points to two I think Doran Tig back wearing the uh, number 16 shirt and man wearing number 16 tonight for uh, Boris Kilcotton might be hoping he mightn't uh, appear in the field is uh, one Brian Stapleton as uh, his club come charging forward again and that's a, a lovely lovely score taken by Pat Whelan, Paddy Whelan with that score, it's delivered now down towards Neil Foyle man of course is a danger man on a county setup and also on a club setup. Neil Foyle he knows those goalposts quite well puts that ball over the bar and that's a good score here after 11 minutes and a bit of daylight starting to creep in here there is yeah and already with a point to his name 7 points to 2, 13 minutes gone we're here live in MW O'Moore Park MW Higher O'Moore Park and Zane Keenan puts that ball over the bar, making it 7 3 and a badly needed score. Stephen Finan down it goes, looking for Joe Campion, but the ball breaks in favour of the Black and Amber. And on come Camera now in a good charge here. This is a strong run from Mark Dowling, still going, going to have a shot! <laughs> Cracking effort from Camera, but Mark Dowling was allowed to make a diagonal run. Very few came to meet him and he just shortened a nice little grip on the hurl, bottom corner, some power behind it. Serious, so that's an excellent score. Um, you know, they've been giving great ball back into their forwards, and we're just looking here and again at the goal, you know, really brilliant goal. You know, on it. either side, and it's uh, taken on board here by Colin Stapleton. Down along the wing he goes, and then pops it into the middle. Good overrun and lock here by Aaron Dunphy. Dunphy going to have a shot at the post, and that was expertly taken. I think Camrys might have been talking about a throw there or a fake hand pass or something like that but uh, well there was nothing wrong with it as far as I could see and I think allowing both of these sides to go at it here 20 minutes gone 9 points to 1-3 as you can see on both scoreboards on the camera as this cook comes in that will be some score and that is a fantastic score from Zane Keenan that's a great score here. and Zane is able to get in there I think and win it back ball looking to play it back out to the middle of the field it's our goal scorer Mark Dowling Dowling then with the goal to shoot puts it over the bar and maybe it but he instead doesn't launch along because look at Dowling was given that little bit of space and on the 45 time to pick his spot good play by Camrys what were Boris Kilcotton doing? yeah it was quick thinking by Owen Gotten, but yeah Boris Kilcotton completely switched off and leave, one person who don't want to leave is Mark Dowling on his own 
um, straight in front of goal an easy tap over for him Mark is as you can see quite well about 5 metres in from the sideline about 60 metres up by the time he connects with it and that looks like it's over the bar and that's why they brought him up Owen Fleming with the score here on the half hour and Vinci getting in there and digging it out Jim Fitzpatrick Jim turns on it sends it back up into the danger zone ball breaks first kick cutting all over here good charge forward here now from Aaron Dunphy Dunphy settling oh what a score well, right behind it puts it up and over the bar Aaron, Aaron Dunphy but he's third point finding down along the wing it goes but they're standing a little bit of a gap Andrew Collier coming inside Cam Ross with their number 10 Kieran Collier so the Colliers linking up and uh, that ball has gone in and up and over the bar the Colliers might be related but they knew where each other were there and that ball was put um, in and up. You know, he's been delivering a lot of ball and, and cleaning up a lot of ball there in his half back line yeah and they have brought forward Owen Fleming here now for a second opportunity maybe they just feel they weren't getting him Emmett had hit two but he's three wides and maybe they just felt they needed a little bit more accuracy on it and that ball is put over the bar there by Owen Fleming and he's got two in the last few minutes of action and I think as Anthony Stapleton called the half time whistle he has so there you have it 13 points to 1-9 Burr's kick on camera sound come running with the goal scorer and uh, ball is tapped in oh how oh! how did that go it was because there was a save or a flick on it or something I think it was a save was uh, given as a 65 is on brother of Mark and of course uh, their dad is involved I think in the see the intermediate manager I think had uh, camera hurlers As this ball is sent in and over the bar from Ongohan three points to his name and that levels the game up here at it's, uh, down the far end of the field Camaros mopped this up and even though the wind seems to be blowing from that end it's Joe Fielding is getting forward and putting the ball over the bar put the head down took it with a bit of purpose the cameras have come out with a different team here so far they have and now there's a three on two situation here Burst kick cut and racing backwards ball is popped inside to Dowling Dowling's thinking about the goal Feelings there as well look like a pull back ball is somehow is taken away off the line still there to be taken out Zane Keenan in there trying to make himself big and awkward ball is going to be taken away Dowling was trying to get in there he shoved off it Anthony Stapleton's quite happy to referee it from the pocket where he is ball is taken away then somehow flicked away there by Dan Fitzpatrick ball and hits the deck but uh, he looked like he was diving for the try line as Jim Fitzpatrick clears to the far side of the field now a break at the other side Aaron Dunphy got three points in the first half charging down the far side line looking at the post this will be an uplifting score for Boris Kilcotton that's a cracking score from Boris Kilcotton should have been a goal at one end here and point at the other brilliant absolutely brilliant passage to play um, I think you know, it is well in his range and he has whatever bit of win there is um, it's, uh, it's in his favour so about 55 metres out from his own goal at the Abbey League's end, hitting the town end he's gonna right through and th straight as a die from Owen Fleming up and over the bar and it's a draw game here back in MW Higher and Moore Park situation now where Camaras are trying to get on it there's a 3 on 2 situation here Dowling thought about popping it inside and he's put it over the bar instead Mark Dowling now with 1-3 to his name. It's won back by Cameras. Gone. Looking to get forward on it. Looking to pop it here now. Dowling again. Skips outside. Three defenders. And pops the ball over the bar. One of the scores of the evening as well. Another brilliant score. Great work again by Zane Keenan to pass it out to Owen Gotten who found Mark Dowling. Send it long down the middle. Dowling maybe underneath it. Man of the match as far as I'd be concerned in this game possibly. Puts it up and puts it between the posts. Mark Dowling. That by my count is 1-5 and that is some shooting. I think that was Joe Phelan who took that one. Was it? Took it yeah, oh, Joe it was Joe, it sorry. Yeah. Uh, it was a well taken. Great catch by Conor Combal there. And, you know, drove at, drove at the camera's defence and won his free. Boris Kilcotton have only scored three times in this second half, but they're still only a point down now. That's four points in this second half and one point down. You know, Camaras goes a little bit loose, but Boris Kilcotton are in there. Looking to deliver from the middle of the field, Dan Fitzpatrick, low ball, that was an opportunity here, Aaron Dunphy to level things up, Dunphy with the ball, it's over the bar, 58 minutes gone, Camaros just haven't put them away, Boris Kilcotton are back level. Yeah, and that's what we've been saying, Camaros have just seen to For the next round of matches. 
And rightly so, he's getting a clap off everyone that is in here, um, tapping them off the field. So Emma Jones dropping this ball in, oh it's caught! It's gone! It's over the line! It's over the line! A mix up between Tom Dunphy, Locke and Brock I think, and that is a major, major swing here! They were, and we're just seeing the goal here again. Probably can't see who, what exactly happened, but Berth, you know, for all the work, uh, all the play the, cam the cameras appeared to have in the second half, you know, Berthel Cottons stayed plugging at it, stayed with it, stayed, you know, stayed chipping. 68 minutes gone now. We were to have four minutes of injury time, then Matthew Whelan got injured, but there it is, it's done and dusted. It's a big win for Boris Kilcotton in a game maybe that threatened in some way, although they were never really out of it, it was kind of getting away from them. I know the goal ultimately wins them the game here. And Man and Ash today brought to you by Holland Sports, the best handcrafted hurls and customised team wear around Leash. In the Rock Road, Boris Nostry, contact them on 087-788-4699. And the man of the match goes to one and only Aaron Dunphy. Excellent game from Aaron Dunphy. Continued on his good form from the Leash Senior Hurling Championship last year and knocked over three excellent points, as we see here, but five altogether from play and a much deserved man of the match. Well done, Aaron.